What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be iRacing at Kansas Speedway. Now Kansas is known for a few things. First off, this track is wrecking loose. Tire wear is super important. This track may be a mile and a half, but it drives like a super speedway around here. If you're digging the content, hit that subscribe button down below and let's go ahead and jump into the video. We have 45 laps. I get this win in the bag and we put this baby on the pole so it doesn't get any better than that. Pace car is in. We're coming to get the green flag from Kansas. Kansas, and it's time to fire off here, man. We timed that thing perfect up to the third gear. We have checked out from the guys behind us. Now, where do we want to be? Top or bottom? I think the bottom groove is going to be the way to go, but in qualifying, I put it on the pole by running around the top. So I love the top, but I feel like that's going to destroy my tires here. They're already looking to my inside. I'm trying to be careful. Try not to burn my stuff up. This guy is going to continue looking to my inside. I think I'm going to run the top here in turn number three and four, but I'm also going to use a little bit of brake. Try to be careful and make sure I don't burn up these tires. Let's launch this baby off turn number four. And I believe we're going to lead lap number one just barely at the line. It's going to be a drag race. We may go down pretty easily here if we're not careful. Oh, man, he's lagging a little bit. I just seen him blink there behind me. That got me nervous a little bit. I think he may take it because of that. He's going to go for a slide job. Not going to quite work because we're going to fight back on the outside. Back to the lead, back to the point from Kansas, man. This is the classic racing you sign up for when you come here, but it's just a matter of time before you start feeling that tire wear come in. This guy's not going down easy, but he's almost wrecking there behind me, man. Almost a crash, and he just got punted out of the way. I think I'm gonna keep it on the outside. I think tempers are getting pretty hot around here. I don't think I want that bottom group, to be completely honest. My car does not feel good down there. That is not where I wanna be. Even though it's better for the tires, it personally does not fit my driving style and I get very tight and I feel like I'm going to hurt my tires even more by running that bottom groove. We're now four laps in. We have led every single lap so far to the moment, but it has been no easy task as I got a car to my inside. I'm having so much fun, man, but how long will it be till we get that first yellow flag of the day? Can he clear me? He's going for it. Oh my gosh. Cannot believe it. We almost crashed right there. We almost crashed. He wanted to get that top, and we took it from him, man. We kept our bumper in, committed, and we're going to hold the lead because of it, man. I don't want to go down. This track position is too hard to get. Oh, we're putting on a heck of a show. This guy behind me is still lagging, and we're still side by side. I feel like this guy has the advantage, man. He can get the pass done. He's just struggling to clear me. He's going to get me this time. But can we cross him over? But now the guys behind me just got a big slingshot because I went down to the bottom. There's just no speed down there. Every time you go down there, there's no speed. Oh my gosh, that's not the type of lag you want to see, man. This guy about lagged up into me and I'm sideways. Coming. Oh, he's into the wall. Oh boy, did he get the wall or was that lag? I see a dent on his back bumper. I believe he got it, but this guy is lagging in and out of this race, and he's about to be lagging in and out of the wall here in just a second. I feel like I got to commit to the outside. Just, oh, into the wall. Heavy up there that time. We're going to clear the number 20 all the way back down to the bottom. We have cleared the third position now. They're three wide by me and my mirror. I don't know if they're going to make it. Oh, he just put him in the wall. Into the wall. Heavy goes to second position. I've stepped up my pace a tiny bit here, and we are catching the leader slightly. Now, this number 11 car has really came alive here behind me as well, so I got to keep him in mind. Here comes the 11. He's going to try to take me on the outside. We're going to slam the door on him. I do not want to give up that top. So he's going to send it down to the bottom. The second position just got the wall pretty hard there in front of me, and he's having trouble getting off of it. Yellow flag is out. First yellow flag of the day is going to drop on lap number 15. So now it's time to come in and take tires. Ken, what are you doing? Like, what was your f stupidity there? Really? Breaking news, boys. We're going back to the point. We gained a position on pit road and the one sped on pit road. So we're back to the lead after that one, man. I definitely pushed it pretty hard there to try to gain some positions. I'm surprised we didn't get a penalty. We're coming to get the green, boys. Here we go. Green flag is waving. And we're going to fire off pretty clean there. Hopefully we can break away from the leaders. We may get a crash here behind us. I'm all the way up to the top, man. This may have been a bad idea because they're going to be looking to my inside. But look at the drive off. We're going to get off turn number two and we're going to clear the 
inside once again. The 11 is hauling it there behind me, man. Almost a push, almost a bump trap right there. We'll send it in pretty deep, trying to use a little bit of break to save the tires up. And we'll see what kind of run we're going to get off to our number four, man. I think this outside is going to continue to prevail as we continue. But this car is loose right now, wrecking loose. We're side by side with the number 11. He's going to come to my inside, and now the race is on. Now the battle is on for the win here at Kansas. He's going to throw it in pretty deep. It's all about getting back to the throttle. If he clears me, we got to be quick across him over. But I'm going to really throttle up almost into the wall. Almost contact. There was contact. I just got door slammed by that number 11 as he tried to get to the outside. We're going to hold it. We're going to continue. And we are still leading from Kansas, man. This track position is too hard to game back if you lose it. I think the tires are not too important right now because they're going to start wrecking them up behind me before you know it. Into the wall hard behind me. That was the second position. He just slapped it. We have checked out from the field. We have nearly a half of a second lead. I'm pushing it pretty hard right now. I'm really expecting a yellow flag to drop in about 10 laps, and we're going to be begging for them tires when that time comes. Don't look now, but that 11 card's coming back to life, man. He's charging. He's definitely gaining on me. Yellow flag is out on lap number 25, boys. Why the f*** would you do that? Miller Light car. Six, you're blinking like crazy. You're gone just as much as you're there. Sorry, three. I did not know there was a car next to me. Looks like both of our cars are okay, though. So we got some good news and bad news as we're already taking the green flag with only 15 laps remaining. I came a pit road. I'm in position number nine because nobody really came a pit road with me. Everyone behind me is on four new tires. But the top eight cars stayed out on the racetrack. This is it, boys. I know I have to be aggressive. I have to get up on the wheel. I got to find my way back inside the top five as soon as possible. Pace car is in, waiting on the leader of fire off here. Where are we going to go, man? It looks like they're ready to go here in front of me. And the green flag is waving. They took them very slow. Not really anywhere I go here, man. They're trying to take me three wide behind me. Oh, boy. Big contact. Hopefully, they're not wrecking. Hopefully, we can miss it. Huge crash behind me, man. They are dead behind me. Well, that was a few positions, and I don't see anyone behind me after that big crash. How did that happen in one? So after the big one at Kansas, we have now found our way up to the sixth position with 11 laps remaining. Remember the last time that 11 took him to the green? Extremely slow, man. He waited all the way till we got the green flag before he fired off. Much different scenario this time by. Put it up a third gear. I tried taking that 10 on the outside. I don't believe he's going to give it to me. I'm going to try to take him three wide if I can, man. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we're going to send it up there pretty deep. See what we can do behind this number 10 car. Unfortunately, he's just not moving here in front of me, and I have nowhere to go. We got to find our way around the 10. We have fallen down to the seventh position, and they're side by side for the lead up front. 10 to go up the line. We got the lagging car going for the lead, so that may get pretty wild. But if I can't get through this traffic, man, we're going to be in trouble. It's going to take about a lap for these tires to really come in. They're still brand new, fresh. There's one position back. Put it back up to the sixth position. Let's go for the top five here. To the outside of that number 18. We're at his corner panel. Gonna send it in deep here. Oh boy, they're getting racy there in front of me. Car into the wall. This is gonna get big right here. It's gonna be interesting. I don't want to get stuck behind him. But we gotta find somewhere to go. Where's the Miller Light machine gonna go? He's gonna stick behind him. We're battling for the fourth position now. If we can get around that number 10. Deep send right here to his outside. Let's see what we can do with it, man. I'm gonna take him three wide here on the outside. Battling for the third position on four new tires. Let's hope this is all gonna work out, man. Trying to give everyone plenty of room here as we're still three wide. And we have cleared the third position. So now I can really focus on getting these guys in front of me with the newer tires on it. Up to third, bat on for second. The clock is ticking and we're running out of time, boys. I think I gotta get around this 15 on the bottom. I do not believe he's gonna give me the outside. So to the bottom groove I go. 
Whoa, the Eleven's into the wall, man. The Eleven just got the wall. He's got to come down and try to block the bottom. That's going to make me bail out of the gas. And we may be three wide for the lead. Nearly three wide for the lead. Unfortunately, man, I know they're not going to give me the top. The Eleven's going to hang on to it. We're up to the second position. I got to throw her in deep, boys. Now the Eleven's trying to take the bottom group from me. This is exactly what he wants, man. But I'm willing to move up to the top if I can. He's just not moving. I had to slam on the brakes to keep from getting into his rear bumper. And here comes a 15 car. The Eleven's blocking up for it, man. The 11 is blocking for this win, and you see it with me, and you see it with that number 15. We can't take a whole lot of that blocking. We're going to have to draw the line if we have to. Back under the 15, going for second. If the 15 just lets me go here, we can go take care of that 11. Send it in deep. I know he's going to be blocking me. We just got to be really smart with it, man. We got to be really smart with it. Sliding up the racetrack, and man, that 11 just slammed on the brakes again. Now the 15's to his outside. I'm going to follow that 15 up high. I think the 15 is going to get around him. That 11 gave up the top. The 15 is sideways, man. The 15 is loose. The 11 slid up the hill. He's going to block the 15 right here, boys. If we can get underneath the 15, it's going to be beautiful. All right. Now we can get around the number 11. Hopefully, man. Hopefully. You know he's going to send it in up on the top. Big block by the 15. Now we're side by side without number 15. Clear track in front of me. Just can't hold the bottom to get the pass done. Whoa, I just got door slammed by the number 11. That was big right there. This 11 is going to have to stop at some point, man. I just gave him the bumper, just gave him the boot. He's going to have to stop that blocking. He's going to come back down again. I think I got to move back up to the top, man. We got five laps remaining. 11 went down to the bottom. He must have thought I was going to the bottom that time. He's going to try to slide up right here in front of me. I got to stay committed to the throttle right here, man. Stay committed to it. Here we come to the bottom. He's blocking it. He's blocking it. We're going to have our bumper in. I'm going to run him up the racetrack here on entry. Really try to get this car to rotate. Really try to get it to arc and ease back into the throttle. He's hanging on to my corner panel, and I'm just going to keep sliding off the track, man. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. He wrecked himself there. He wrecked himself. You can't do all that blocking and expect that not to happen to you. The 15 is going to hang on and get the W, and we're going to officially get a position number three out of this one. Now, the 11 was a little bit heated post-race, man. He pulled up next to me right here, kind of revved his engine a little bit. Understand why he's mad, but to be completely honest, I thought he was going to bail out the gas. I just wanted to try to slide up in front of him. I didn't want to wreck him. I had no intentions of wrecking him. If I wanted to wreck him, I would have just flat out moved him and wrecked him. I tried just to slide up. I really thought he would bail out the gas, but unfortunately, it turned into a crash that I didn't need to. Be. I hate it for him. I just felt like we kept getting blocked and kept getting blocked and kept getting blocked. And I guess I was just getting more frustrated as that continued. We had to run here on the outside, got blocked for it, went down to the bottom, got blocked, got blocked, got blocked. I tried to run him up the track here on entry. That's exactly what I did. And you're going to see him just turn down and he's going to try to ride my corner panel right here just to pin me down, just to keep pinning me down. And I just committed, man. One more replay and you just see him keep turning down the racetrack. And I think that's where I just wanted to draw the line at. And. Really didn't want that to happen to him, man. I thought he was going to bail out of the gas, and it's on me. Completely on me. My fault. I did apologize. Now, before we end today's video, I'd like to thank my Patreon members who I go by racing with every single Thursday night for the DLB TV Racing League. The schedule is on the screen now. Also, special thanks to my Patreon VIP members, CHTV, Christian L.A., Derek Dorsey, Joshua Kane, Sanquist Gregory, Timothy Stubblefield, Tomaters, and Tyler Wark for supporting the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.